it's Ruby. How are you guys going? Sorry if you can hear the fan going, it's really hot today. Anyways, I thought this was long overdue, so I decided to do another Fragile X video. So here we go. Now this time I have written some things down. Okay. And this will help me. Anyway, what is Fragile X? Fragile X is a common cause of hereditary intellectual Fragile disability. Fragile X is an expansion of the DNA, which is called the FMR1 gene. And this is normal, everyone has an expansion, but it's only from like 6 to 44. The pre-mutation is 50. Premutation is 55 to 199, where that is like a mild sort of disability. Equal with the Fragile X full mutation can be 200 plus. Now that's where I am at. I am full mutation and also I carry the gene. So that means that every time I have a child, about 50-50 chance that the baby will have fragile X. So the symptoms of full mutation for people with fragile X is, is developmental delay whereas like they talk they start talking at a later age and they start walking at a later age. Well for me I was walking when I was eight months old I think but I am pretty sure I did have seizures, if I remember correctly. So that's another symptom of Fragile X syndrome. Another symptom of Fragile X is the facial features, long face, big ears. I don't really have big ears, but I do have a long face. You can tell more when I have long hair, whereas because my hair is short, you can't really tell the dimension on my face. It makes me look more rounder, if that makes sense. Another one is joint flexibility. I do have that. I can literally Other bend symptom my of back. Fragile X is behavioural issues, whereas for me with that category, I feel like I am a 15 year old in the brain and I am 32 like on the outside. Why I say that is because if I don't get my own way, I act like a teenager and I get upset and angry and you know do the whole 15 year old slam the door or whatever. So yeah. another fragile X symptom which really is autism related is shyness. I'm very shy. Poor eye contact. I can't look at anyone in the eye when I'm talking. I always look away because I just don't feel comfortable. I feel... I don't know. Intimidated. The other one is sensory progressing. Like loud noises, um, taste, can't think of anything else, but mostly it's taste and sound, noise, uh, loud noises, you just can't concentrate, you can't focus, you feel like, I don't know, you just want to get out of the crowd because you feel like you're going to go crazy. So there is no yeah. cure for fragile X syndrome yet. Another thing to do with a fragile X and autism symptom is anxiety. I have anxiety every single day. And if my routine is changed, that's where my anxiety happens. I just can't focus, I can't, I just can't handle it. small that has to do with why I've got anxiety because my anxiety is 
going somewhere alone I, I just can't do it I feel safe at home I am fine by myself at home but it's when I walk out that door yeah I just I just can't handle it and it and it sucks because it stops me from doing so much and I guess with baby steps it'll only get better like I'm also, with Fragile X, there is another symptom that I forgot to mention, is the teeth. Teeth growing everywhere, they just want to grow. And it is annoying because, I don't know, I just don't like my teeth. I used to get picked on for it. and. Another thing that I've noticed with Fragile X is high gums. So when I smile, you can see my gums. And I used to get picked on about that too, which... Yeah, anyway, that's another So story. how does Fragile X affect me? Well, I have mentioned a few things like the long face and the teeth and the gums. And... The behavioural issues. Um, I do have. I do have an intellectual impairment. It takes me longer to learn something than it does somebody else. It does depend on what it is. Um, but I eventually do get there. It can be frustrating when I don't understand something and I can't do something. I did used to let it get to me, but I don't now. I just got to accept that, hey, you know, I, I can't do it. It's okay. I can do other things. But the one thing that really gets to me is my anxiety because, you know, I can't just go out and drive here, there, everywhere because I have panic attacks while driving and that's a no-no. So I haven't driven for three, four years, say three years. So that really doesn't bother me but it does in a way because, you know, I would like to. But the reality is I can't, but there is other ways and I am working on that. Even um, though I can't do certain things, I try to focus on the things that I can do and that's the most important thing. And always try anyway, always try to do things that you want to do because you just never know. You never know if you can do something and give it a good go. Always ask if you need help. That's the number one lesson that I have learnt is to ask and don't feel silly because, you know, it could be anything. It could be anything that you need help with and even though you do feel silly for asking, you'll feel much better that you did ask because then you're not sitting there twiddling your thumbs wondering how to do something. But yeah. I think that is all I have got to say if I haven't answered anything that you may want to know about please leave questions in the comment box below and I will reply as soon as I can I hope you're all having a good day and just remember to always stay true to yourself